right now. He was so upset. He's like, I'm not fighting my girlfriend in doubles. But here's somebody that he will have to fight. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you just do a half A press to go backwards or something? That was funny. I've never seen this this kind of anger from Joel, you know, at the start, but doing a really good job right now. Turtle v Turtle. I mean, it feels like Skies couldn't do anything for the first 20 seconds of this match. Yeah, this feels like a food chain type situation for sure. But yeah, we've seen this matchup, you know, uh, a bit here. Obviously, you know, Bowser being a big character, going to eat a lot of damage from Squirtle, but going to be able to make that up nicely against the other Pokemon. So... It's definitely going to be an, an interesting song and dance. Oh, brother, where art thou? That is ridiculous. I don't like that up B. It really did kind of save him. Down throw by Beast once again. I feel like he's playing with so much. This is this is Beast as a player. He's really like momentum incarnate. But like once you get him on like that X Factor level, if he's down from that X level factor, he's just getting hit. So right now it's it's really hard to kind of see the end of the wow. of the ride for him, but really, like he is not wasting any time right now. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this is not looking great right now for Skies. And again, you know, Beast I'm sure has had his fair square off against Bowser's in the past. He hates it. I don't blame him. It's definitely a, a less than ideal matchup. F tilt will connect right there, not gonna be enough to kill him just yet, but Beast has gotten so much, uh, you know, extra life out of the stock. I don't really think he cares that much, but gonna go to the closer in Charizard to maybe what die. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was creative. You know what? We usually like to see that move on the ground. You know, it kind of is like a combo break. I've never seen it used like that, but you know what? Sure, if it works, it works. It still messes me up that Bowser does his like a B like to the side now instead of like horizontal. It's very odd. Ooh, all right, this is what. Beast is going to have to look for now. Once again, we saw, we know how patient Skies is. And I feel like Skies like went for that ride at first and was like, all right, hold on. Let me just slow it down real quick. I <laughs> sword let me puke real quick and then we'll <laughs> figure this out. All right, nice Nair to beat out the Bowser Nair. Oh my God, Skies yeah. able to even that up so that's the That's the beauty of, you know, of Bowser Lyric is that all it takes is like, you know, four or five exchanges in neutral and suddenly it's an even game. So that's all it's going to take right here as you see B switching to the Pokemon, to the uh, the closer and Charizard. But with that comes the uh, the downside of being very small. Oh, my goodness. Oh, very good small, on Skies, though, for getting his shield out in time. But if I'm Beast, I want to switch because this is death percent for Squirtle. If he gets hit with something crazy, I don't know. See him switching to the Ivysaur again. You definitely want to switch to the, you know, to the other Pokemon for the. Oh, he might be dead here. No, nah, definitely not. Charizard is a big boy, but you gotta watch how he comes down because Skies is ready for another one of those, one of those grabs. All right, down tilt by Beast. I feel like they're just chasing each other. This is scary. This went from definitely in Beast's favor to uh. like super close. Oh, good tech. We're from Texylvania. We always hit that. Oh, you got to watch that. Down smash again. Where are you going? Jesus Christ. This is so close. And they're close. just hitting each other. Between both these guys right now. Next grab definitely wins for sure. Beast going kind of rogue right there, dropping off the stage like that. Ooh, forward air is not going to connect. Beast going to be able to recover right on the ledge, but that side B is going to take it. Wow. Oh, my God. That, set, that match was so scary. That yeah. was terrifying. It's not fun, you know. Like, like I've been, we've mentioned with every Bowser match, you know, you're either losing by a lot or you're, you know, you're winning by a lot. I don't know. He was like. winning by a lot and then losing by a lot. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. You know, I'm sure, as a heavyweight main, you have to understand that not all aspects of the match are gonna feel pretty. You play heavies? Sometimes I do, but I'm just saying, you know, as oh, a... Oh, I thought you were saying, like, yourself as a heavyweight. No, I was like, wait, no, no, what no, happened no. to the Palutena, the Belmont, the Sonic? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a commentator. I don't know. <laughs> True. But, you know, like, like, especially as Bowser, you know, it feels very feast or famine in the aspects of the match, you know, especially against Squirtle. You saw how bad that was for Skies out the gate. Uh, and again, all it takes is, you know, five or, you know, six solid reads in neutral, and you're back in it. You know, this character has not found the deficit they cannot come back from it. Yeah, for sure. And we're going to see, once again, this kind of even neutral here. Beast going to start off with that Squirtle. Nothing though. down tilt there. Nothing home. Oh, I feel like he was jumping up for the Nair, but the input didn't come out. And this is how this is how Sheesh. Skies is going to punish him. Yeah, these up out of shield, they're so scary. Okay, going to get the pivot grab off the Nair on shield from Beast. 
And you see Beast, uh, you know, maybe uh, panicking a little bit, trying to get a grab. Uh, again, the, you know, obviously you want to go to the bigger Pokemon like Ivysaur and Charizard, you know, for damage, uh, you know, and killing potential. But you're just giving yourself a bigger target for Bowser to hit. So it's definitely an awkward song and dance in this matchup. You gotta watch it though. Skies knows exactly what he's looking for here. You're gonna take him with the side B, send him up. Ooh, and the punch in the face. GG's. It was close. <laughs> Too old, but it was close. Yeah. I feel like Beast is starting to lose his momentum really quickly. I feel like, oh my oh, god. Yeah, my was, god. If that had hit, I think that would have killed. Oh, 100% on Squirtle? Forget about it. I feel like sometimes, though, Beast does throw out these, like, these aerials a little too quickly. Like, I feel like it's instinctual. Like, all right, all right, got this hit, down air. But it's like, it's not even, he's not even close to that yet. Yeah, Sky's doing a good job keeping things, uh, you know, in their favor right now. But Beast trying to find a solid hit to get back in it. Going to read the spot dodge. The up throw not going to be enough to kill Bowser. Super heavyweight. But that'll get the job done, so. Yeah, no, I feel like that was an accidental land on the ledge there. Ooh, looking for that. Looking for something off the nair. It's going to find that side B. Gotta watch this. This is where Beast exactly excels. It's never really over on a B stock until 140, I always like to tell people. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! No, not enough to kill him, unfortunately. Like yeah, you no, said. it was just the weak hit of the down air. But it definitely kind of spooks Skies a little bit because he's gotta get off this ledge. This is where Beast kind of excels here as a player. He is ready to kind of cheese you out of any of your stops. And he was able to just bring that back just from Charizard off the ledge. Gotta Ooh. watch that once again. Oh, again, uh, nice tech right there from Beast. All right, Ooh. forward throw is gonna be the choice. See what he can get off of it. Gonna play it a little bit more calm this time on the ledge. Oh, he's gonna wait for that, he knew. Yeah, again, Bowser on the ledge. Ooh. Less than ideal, and as the wise man Clam Hat once said, straight hit kill power. <laughs> as the up tilt will get the job done. Uh, Skies, one game away from, you know, pulling off a, a big win here over Beast, uh, but Beast, again, not the same die just yet. Uh-oh, here we go. Sky's able to fire back with his own little kind of power here. Oh my god, Beast able to kind of follow it off with Squirtle, but he's gotta watch out. Getting hit right now from from Bowser may be a little, a little scary. Like, I'm kind of tense here watching it. But, ooh, okay, up be out of, up be out of shield. Oh god, you gotta oh. switch right now, sir. You gotta switch to Ivysaur. Ooh, ooh. okay. Yeah, the whip's coming in. As helpful as possible, what a terrible switch. Yeah, unfortunate stuff right there uh, for Beast. That switch, not necessarily uh, a, a good spot right there as uh, Skies will take that to the bank. And remember, as we take another look at it, you see Beast converting here. Yep, gonna switch yeah. above the platform. Yeah. He knew exactly that switch too. They've played each other a decent amount of times over the past couple weeks, so. Uh, and it sounds like they're in the same major pool. That's, uh, that's rough. <laughs> yep, gotta love that, right? Drive eight hours to play your own region? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sucks. I <laughs> don't know what else to say other than it sucks. Right, Biddy? Uh, yeah, Biddy's here. Hi, Biddy. Another person who's going to be in the pool at Riptide. Can we can we go back to this? Can we go back to this? Koopa has never been in the pool bar at a Kalahari. How much is he missing out? B if Biddy says getting, you're missing out? I'm getting there a day early, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how the pool bar works, because I've studied the okay. architecture okay. 